Hello, and in this section, we'll be learning about interfaces. We'll see how interface work and what are the objects inside the interface. So let's create one interface object and I need to click on new. After then, I need to select on interface. So here we have two options like expression rules. We can create from scratch and duplicate existing interface. So the naming convention will be, I need to follow something like the space will not be there and this is my test interface so i'll be using this test and interface so whatever will be the naming convention first of all we need to use application prefix and then accordingly for example we are creating some home page then we can put something like this that home page of whatever application it will be so this is my test interface the description will also be test interface and interface is also a rule so that's why we are storing interface in rule folder and let's click on create i don't have to worry about the security now because uh, i have already set the security for rules folder so that's why automatically the security will get inherited inside this interface object so now you can see we have two modes the design and the expression so whenever i need to use these features drag and drop options and select a template and all these things we can jump into the design and if i wanted to jump directly into the coding part i can directly go inside the expression editor and i can open my panel and i can start writing so for example i will write a bank form layout and i can find out the this one you can see a bank form layout right so now error is not coming so i don't want it to use directly here I will go inside the design mode and I will understand about the components first. So you can see these components are there, right? So we have different different components like layouts and uh, high top level layouts, layouts, and these inputs are there. And if I scroll down, we have different display section like images, rich text, tag. So these are the uh, various different design objects which we can use to build the interactive home pages, right? Or we can say interface, interactive interfaces. So we have multiple options. For example, if I wanted to upload some files, so we have a upload, uh, this one file upload. We have drop downs, multi-select drop downs, and uh, we have actions like buttons, record actions and link, and we have grids, editable grid, read-only grid, and event history list. And we also have different components of uh, reports like charts, and different different charts are there, pie charts, line charts, area charts, scatter charts, and we have other things like browsers folder browser document browser and various other hierarchical objects so we can use these objects and we can build the interactive interfaces so we can also for example we don't have to build these objects build my interface with these objects from the starting i wanted to use something which is already built some basic design which is already built so i can get inside this patterns and let's say i wanted to get something related to a list so i can use like this event history and i can modify this template accordingly right so this these are the patterns i can use these patterns because whenever they release something new right they put this uh, they put the design patterns into this and we can use it to build the interactive interfaces or i can also take a look at other interfaces from this design library right so let's delete this list and we will try to use these templates so we have different templates some form templates page templates and these examples are there so for example there is a employee onboarding and i wanted to use the dashboard i wanted to create something but i don't want it to build something from scratch so i can use this template i can take a look on this template and you can see there is a lot of things right we have the employee name employee onboarding status employee detail sections and lot more right so you can see how interactive this is right and currently I'm inside my edit mode. That's why when I'm, whenever I'm hovering on these objects, these selections are coming, right? So we also need to understand how these selection works. For example, I click on this, this particular side-by-side -side item and you can see this is a gauge. And when I will hover on this name gauge, then it will show me the parent. This one is the parent of this side-by-side -side layout. This one is the parent of this and again this and again high level parent and this one the most outer parent, right? So these are the selections and I can click on this one. Let's say I wanted to select this one. 
I can click on that one, right? So this is how we can use this selection and I can see the options of the selected delete. I can duplicate all see pair select the parent. And currently I'm inside the edit, but if I wanted to preview this whole page, then I can go inside the preview. You can see no selections are coming because I'm inside the preview mode. This is how it will look to the user. User will see like something like this, right? And if I wanted to check the performance of this interface, I can go inside the performance tab where I will be having the list of all the um, functions or uh, any queries which is happening inside this interface or in everything every keyword will be having every minor details you can see and the time the run time the maximum time the minimum time and total time taken by that element and everything right we can improve the performance if the interface performance is low and we can try to find out right so this is the performance i will directly go back into my edit again and I will again do the undo because I don't want to use this template. Now again, it is my basic empty interface, right? And this is my component. And uh, if I will select top level layout, let's say this one. So now the template is gone because I need to do and modifications by using these components now. So for example, I have dragged and dropped something and I need to see how this function is working. So then I can jump into the expression and I can see this is what we have done by using drag and drop. So this is my function. Inside this function, we have a label, we have contents, contents is empty because you can see nothing is in between this form layout. And we have the buttons. So how we will understand these things, right? Because for a new person, uh, this, this everything will be new, right? How he will understand that, uh, which all are the parameters, how we can use these parameters. So that is very easy, right? We already have seen this help text. So if I will open this help text, you can see when I click on the form layout, all these parameters are there. So we have label, instruction, contents, buttons. We have these buttons. I have put cancel and submit button inside this one because I have selected the form template. That's why automatically these options are coming. And we have validations, validation group, skip out of focus and show when. So all these parameters are there. We can use these parameters to build interactive interfaces and uh, uh, to achieve all the requirements which is there. For example, we wanted to hide some buttons according to the um, some logic or some other features. Then we can use show when. Right. I can change the label of these buttons of these forms. You can see this is my button parameter. So I can collapse and uncollapse these functions to just understand these things better. You can see. The label is form. So let's rename this form label to new form and it will directly get modified here and inside the contents currently it is empty. So we will put some content in later videos and inside the buttons we have a bank button layout. So if I wanted to understand this button layout again, we can check the help box and we have primary button, secondary buttons and show when and accessibility text. So what we are using, we are using primary buttons and secondary button. And again, if I wanted to remove something, I can either directly delete that part after selecting it like this, or I can click on control backslash to comment that part. You can see the cancel button is gone from this form. Only submit button is there. And now we understand that these are the function and this is how we need to use these functions. You can see inside the button layout, inside the primary buttons, we can read this that we need to use a bank button widget and again if i click on a bank button widget they will tell us about all the other parameters here what i need to use how we need to use right so we will understand everything in depth currently for interface understanding it's enough about the expression and you can see that according to the display size it will automatically adjust the form currently i have selected this narrow one this one but if my desktop size is this one then it will automatically change the size right it we have different different we have also for mobile and tablet right so if you are building something in php or uh, using javascript you have to be worry about all these screen sizes right but here in appian you don't have to worry about the sizes of the screen you can directly build an interface and use it anywhere because in appian we can also use these applications in your mobile devices right so 
there is a lot of features and i will again go to the narrow desktop that's all and on the right hand side currently i'm inside the design mode that's why this configuration panel is coming this is my configuration panel if i have local variables the list will come here if i have any rule inputs the list will come here so currently everything is empty so i will save this interface and i will put something in this interface in my next video thank you